Siri, what's today's date? Thank you. What is going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here. Today I wanted to quickly show you how you could completely reset your Parrot Disco back to its original firmware from the date you purchased it. So that being said, if you purchased the Parrot Disco within the last six months, you're probably going to get it with 1.4.0 or 1.4.1. If you purchased it like I did about a year ago, then it came with 1.0.4 or something of the like. Also, another thing, I've gotten uh, some questions whether or not this can hold your iPad mini. It can. It has a device, basically, you can press in and it rotates. And this can retract or expand depending on your needs for your device. So I use, when I connect my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, I plug it in horizontal or landscape style and then when I use it with my iPad which is the full blown iPad came out at the beginning of this year the newest latest edition and it fits just like so it does get in the way of your controls you can't see the buttons or the controls as you're flying you kind of have to tilt it but it's whatever it works with that being said Let's get into showing you how you can completely reset your Parrot Disco. All right, for all intents and purposes, I'm going to turn on the Sky Controller 2 and the Disco to show you guys what firmware I am currently running. All right, I'm going to connect. Good to go. We will tap on the screen. Software version 1.4.1. All right, that's the latest and greatest version that we have running. And the version of Free Flight Pro we are running are 4.4.0. Go ahead and power down the Sky Controller 2, power down the Disco, and we will reset it. All right, so if you want, basically, you've made corrections to your Disco, you've calibrated it, and you set things up, and you want to just basically wipe it, factory reset to the day that you received it out of the box. Uh, this will help you out. What Parrot has done, though, is they will require you to re-upload the latest firmware, which is 1.4.1. But this will basically make everything brand new, like you just got out of the box. So if you're about to do the settings changes that we're about to do, it's good to know how to factory reset so that you can set your disco back if you mess things up. So I'm going to press it four times on the fourth one. Hold. One, two, three, four. Press and hold. Light will turn blue. Start blinking and then it'll turn solid blue. All right, that means it's basically it's resetting the factory defaults. It'll stay blue for a while and then it will shut down. And once it shuts down, we'll power it back up and we'll show you that it has in fact rolled back to a prior firmware edition. And this may take a few minutes. All right, it's powered down. All right, let's power it back up. And this may. It may take a couple of minutes for it to build itself again. So just be patient with it. It'll work and it'll clear out all your settings. And from here, this will give us a baseline uh, to, we're going to transfer some files to it to be able to side load. So it has the Dragon, which is Parrot's um, flight control system. And we can side load ArduPilot. Um, and that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to drop files into the ArduPilot folder so that we can have a secondary uh, program that we can program in Mission Planner so that we can fiddle around with the Parrot Chuck. So that is what this complete process is gonna do. But for now, we are resetting firmware to factory defaults. All right, it looks like we're gonna have to turn it on one more time. So let's turn it on and have it boot. And this time it should load up and we should be good to go. All right, let's go ahead and bring in the controller and iPad. And there we go. All right. So it's showing us that we do, in fact, need an update. Uh, it rolled us back to 1.0.5, which I guess was the firmware version that came with my disco when I purchased it. And as you can see, the latest one it wants me to upload is 1.4.1. The last time I updated the Parrot Disco, I installed it using my iPad. So the firmware is actually stored on my device so I could be able to upgrade it and upload to the latest firmware. So everything connected, we went ahead and started the install of the firmware. 
Parrot will not let you fly with the older firmware. You have to be at the current firmware version in order for you to use your Parrot Disco. Also, once you complete the firmware upgrade and you're at the flying field or you're at your home, make sure you calibrate your drone, recalibrate the Disco prior to flight or else you will have erratic flight behavior on your first flight. Trust me, it is scary. So, everything's up to date. Waiting for connection, it's rebooting, and it looks like one of my Bebop drones has an update it's waiting on. Uh, we'll do that later. So Disco is now rebooting. Once we connect, we'll be able to see that our firmware version has indeed updated. So this is going to get us at a clean slate uh, and make us uh, able to load Ardupilot plane for Parrot Disco, and that is why this is setting the stage for that series that is coming up next. So stay tuned for that. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. We're gonna to connect to the Disco and show that it is indeed up to date. We are firmware version 1.4.1 instead of 1.0.5. We are up to date. So that's it. It is factory reset, everything's cleared out, all the settings, and remember, calibrate your drone next time you fly. That'll be it for this video, thanks for watching.